Liberals panic after what drunk Pelosi did in front of crowd while praising Trump haters. Although Nancy Pelosi may think that she's at the top of her game, this claim couldn't be possibly be further from the truth. In fact, she was most recently able to prove just that as she gathered a crowd to praise a famed critic of President Donald Trump, but she would later leave her own voter base in a panic after the seemingly drunken mistake she let slip in front of the cameras. In the play titled Hamilton, made national headlines after a few no-name actors garnered a lot of attention for their performance, of course, it wasn't for their acting talent, but rather the bizarre and cringeworthy spectacle that they made as Vice President Mike Pence came to watch their show. The show-stopping rant put on by the cast amounted to nothing more than the insinuation that then-President-elect Donald Trump was a racist and that Mike Pence had to keep him in line, despite the fact this couldn't be possi uh, possibly be further from the truth. The vice president sat there, respected the, their right to free speech, and listened to what they had to say. Videos of the matter were posted to social media where they immediately went viral. In the end, those on the left were cheering and those on the right were rather offended by the way the then soon-to-be vice president of the United States was treated while simply trying to enjoy a play. More recently, the left has once again decided to show their support for what happened that day. According to ABC News, the U.S. Capitol Historical Society decided to honor the liberal playwright responsible for the show, and they made it quite the event. Come to find out, Nancy Pelosi was invited uh, to deliver a six-minute prepared speech, but things would go horribly wrong for Botox Nan and her supporters. Take a listen, guys. This is really bad. The author of the Broadway musical Hamilton, Lin-Manuel Miranda, has a rather hard name to pronounce, at least if you're Nancy Pelosi. And to that, the fact that several reports indicate that she's drunk all the time with commenters further suggesting she was intoxicated during her most recent appearance and you get yet another embarrassment for the left. Take a look. She slurs Flub's name. Here we are. Lin-Manuel Lin Miranda. Lin-Manuel Miranda is the great creative oh. talent Min Manuel Miranda took the story of our founding and imbued it with fresh life and infectious spirit. Min Manuel was continuing. <sighs> Lin Manuel, I am truly, truly convinced we celebrate Lin Manuel Miranda, a man gifted by the muse of history. Thank you, Lin Manuel. Thank you, Lin Manuel Madonna. <laughs> She looks drunk, too, at the end. Wow. As Pelosi spoke, she repeatedly had trouble. Yeah, all right. Unbelievable. What's more shocking is that this incoherent, babbling fool keeps getting elected despite embarrassing her party over and over again. In the end, Pelosi has only done her party damage and continues to do that to this day. Maybe if she would put the wine glass down and get to work, we could actually get some good things accomplished. I doubt that with Nancy Pelosi. No, no. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.